Hello, this is Dave Breton with Lobo Business Sales, LLC. In today's talk and discussion podcast, I wanted to discuss why you should be looking to sell your business on the way up. Let me emphasize this. You need to sell your business at the most peak time for the top price. The way to do that is you have to sell your business when it's on the way up. Let's talk about that a little bit in this podcast. First, every entrepreneur wants two things to happen when they sell their business. Those two things are pretty simple. They want to sell for top dollar. And number two, they actually want to sell the business. Here's the thing. Unfortunately, less than 20% of all businesses offered actually sell. Of those, less than half sell for what they're worth, and it's like catching lightning in a bottle to sell a business at a premium to its actual value. So where do over 80% of business owners go wrong when looking to sell their business? Answer, simple. They didn't prepare and learn how to sell their business for top dollar. If you're listening to this, you're probably tired of being frustrated or being in that 80% that just doesn't sell. You want to get as much as you can when you're selling your business and here's some helpful tips. One of the most important items you can do when you sell your business is you need to sell your business on the way up. This is a big one, so pay attention. It's the single factor that places the why factor when offering your business for sale. Almost every buyer looking to buy a business will look at what the company has done in the past, what the current trend is, and so forth. However, they will actually buy based on what they believe the business is going to do over the near term. It is the cash flow that they can realistically expect over the next 12 to 24 months that triggers that quote, buy the business now, end quote, versus dragging their feet, putting in low ball offers, etc. A serious buyer will want to buy a business that is improving and on the way up and they want it now. Let's look at a couple of examples. Assume you were looking to buy a business. Maybe it's your first business that you ever bought and you were being as careful and diligent as possible. If you saw one business that was making a hundred grand a year for the past three years, every year, hundred K, hundred K, hundred K, and it was anticipated to make a hundred and K, maybe a hundred and five thousand next year. Would you buy it? What about seeing a business that made fifty thousand, then it made seventy five thousand, then it grew to a hundred thousand, and it's now anticipated to make a hundred and twenty five, maybe a hundred and fifty thousand next year? Seriously, ask yourself. Which one would you buy? The answer is almost always a business that is trending up versus plateauing or heaven forbid in a downtrend is going to be more desired in the marketplace from buyers that are looking to buy quality businesses. There's another factor that comes into play here. This is a big factor when it comes to getting top dollar when selling your business too. It is the multiple of the earnings. Typically, a business will sell on a multiple of earnings. Keeping this topic very, very brief, here's the basic formula that you want to understand. Businesses are going to be valued on a seller's discretionary earnings times the market sector multiple for past comparable sales. This is going to equal 
the final sales price. There are various ways a business can be valued, sold, etc. However, the comparable sales and income approach is one of the most common. It sounds simple, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast. Here's where it turns and gets a little tricky. The growth rate is a big factor here. Using the example above, you will come to two completely different values. One of a company at a plateau and making 100000 a year, and the other growing swiftly every year and at the exact same earnings. Most people can see this daily by just looking at the price earnings ratios of stocks trading in the market. Why would one business that makes 10 million a year be valued at 50 times earnings and another making the same 10 million a year only be priced at 10 times earnings? They make the same amount, right? Wrong. They might current be making the same amount, but the growth rate and the anticipated future earnings are vastly different. This is why one trades at such a different of multiple. Same holds true in privately held businesses, but to a slightly smaller degree. Typical profitable businesses under two million in market value can expect to have multiples in the one and a half to 4x range. Although this might seem small, keep in mind this is a multiple of value. Thus, the end result is big. Let's look at two examples. In example one, we have company A. They make a hundred grand a year, been steady in this range, not down, not up, just making their 100k a year. Typically, we could expect this to be in the two to two and a half time range. Overall, not too bad. In company B's instance, they make a hundred grand a year, but they've been growing year over year at a growth rate of 50%. Each year, the net has been growing 50% and is expected to continue on this path. Do you think this will trade at the same multiple as the first example? You can most likely expect this to be at the highest end of that multiple range, maybe as high as 4x or even higher. So what's the difference of a 1x or 1.5x on numbers to the final sales price? All you got to do is do the math. If a business is making $100,000 at the time of this pricing, that multiple difference could mean an extra $100,000 or more when selling your business. Wow. The moral is simple here. To get a better multiple of earnings, you want to sell when your business is on the way up. This makes buyers want to buy your business now and multiple factors higher for you too. It's simply a win-win for you. So remember, when you want to sell your business for top dollar, look to sell when your business is on the way up. This should put you in the 20% category of businesses that actually sell. Thanks for reading this post or if you are on YouTube or one of my blog posts, thanks for listening. I hope it added some value to you. Here's wishing you unlimited success in all of your entrepreneurial goals. If you like to drop a line, you can contact me at 813-395-9552. Follow us on Facebook at Lobo Business Sales or catch me online at www.lobobusinesssales.com. This is Dave Breton and I want to wish you unlimited success. Keep the entrepreneur spirit shining bright.